We're going to keep it short, but I'll give this to Tiffin. And I know if mom knew that I'm coming here and I'm looking inside, she might not like that. Honey, do you think a squirrel can fit in that hole? And I just think when we're in the sinks, some people put their face down there and they splatter. Where's the water going? It's going everywhere, right? Kudos to Tiffin to embrace this. It's RV inspection day, and today we are in Red Bay, Alabama, about to inspect this 2025 40 IP. We've been invited by Tiffin to come to Red Bay in order to do a transparent RV inspection. What's that mean? Blue Ox's motto, no bull. We give you the facts and they want the facts. So we'll see you at lunchtime to update you and the end of the day. So stick around. All right, first glimpse. This one was for Stacy. So she should recognize herself. Just checking if you're checking. First things first, you know we work for the consumer. We're there to enhance and make people realize what they might buy. Well, some people might see this and understood what we're actually doing and see a value in what we're doing. Lo and behold, we're at a show not too long ago, and I've got this gentleman that comes up to me, and his name is Lee and he knows who and what we do and requested and asked us how can i have you guys come to red bay as an independent inspector to keep my people qc in check Woo! this is interesting so some people see the value of what we do and now we're going above and beyond just the consumer part i think it actually is starting to have a ripple effect that manufacturer also understand and see what they need to do about units where they need to go forward or what they need to intend to to get better so that's a start right there and what tiffin did for me is commendable so now let's go check what i have for first glimpse already you know me, I'm anal, it's about little details, it's about little things, so yesterday, we've been here for a couple of days, we already inspected another unit that you might see, and Laura might be able to click that video above. I was on the manufacturing side, we were inside the plant, looking at everything, and I already found a check on a couple of things that I see. The for example, now we're on this slide out, beautiful, looks nice, I already see sealant missing here that I haven't seen before, but we're already looking right here, you know, we found some in the front. They gotta have to work on those little trims. So when you see them first, you're gonna say, oh, okay, now I know what Pierre Lowe is talking about. This is what I'm looking about. The attention to detail. So this slide out, for instance, is here, same level as the belt line. So what happened is you take this slide out and it's tilted like this. So as Lowe will show you, what happened? When it gets down here, what happens? Well, what do you think is gonna happen when you travel a couple of miles? Paint's gonna be gone, like we've seen in some of the older one. So this is alignment or whatever it is, but this is a fact that we state on our report. And then what we do, what we've been doing here on a consistent basis, check the report the next day. So we sit with people that are related to the family, like Lee Tiffin and Joel, and all the crew of every plant that will be here actually i'll have the general manager we sat down with all of them depending on the division a b and c so everybody knows what we're looking at and everybody's open for change so this was kind of nice so so far this is what i have um let's go check what lowell has inside and what lunchtime reserves us so come on in, let's check out my stow and go and my first glimpse. So coming in here to the stow and go, I absolutely love it because I can walk directly back here and get to my kitchen area so I can get a snack, I can get my driver something to drink while he is driving. I also can go to the bathroom. The one thing I would caution you is to make sure that you have something to protect the door of your refrigerator when you do open the bathroom door, but you have full access to the bathroom and also to your bedroom. Now, the one thing about this is the bed 
tilts up. So if you are going to stop to sleep, you will need to put out your bedroom slide. But other than that, you can come in and take a little nap if you can lay this way. And if you want to shower, you can roll over the top. And it's kind of a comfy mattress, not kind of. It is comfy. So that's my stow and go. But now let's talk about our first glimpse. I really don't have anything that I've seen that's alarming. Everything's closed up. But let's talk about the fridge. Something that we learned yesterday when we were on a tour with Barry was that they test these refrigerators for 24 hours before they even install them, which means they hook it up to be able to make ice, making sure that your refrigerator is working properly. So as far as my first glimpse, I really have nothing to share at this point, but I'm gonna see you at lunchtime, so stick around. We'll see you then. Lunchtime recap. We've been asked, will deliver. Sealant around these boxes. This, for me, is a lot of attention that ends up with results like this. So you actually see through, I hope you see this, but you can actually see that it doesn't adhere to the joint is so it doesn't work as intended that will be part of my report and i know i'm going to be challenged on this no we're just bringing statement and facts and from there they'll do whatever they have to do to correct it so i'm looking at my slide out and i know if mom knew that i'm coming here and i'm looking inside she might not like that honey do you think a squirrel can fit in that hole a snake can well, see, that will be the snake. So it's the same thing as here. So right here, as you can see, I'm looking inside. It's only wiper seal. So that's always the problem. How do they manufacture so it actually does what it's supposed to do? Well, a lot of the corners, when we see up corners that they overlap and they glue them together, that does a nice and pretty job. This, it's probably a routing stuff that they need to do. So it actually marries the edges so it actually seals properly the unit let's go to the front so i'm here by the generator and as i'm inspecting different things in here i happen to see this so i got something leaking down there and talking about leaking here's another one i even have oil on the ground this has been pdi so it's ready from their shop this is actually leaking. You can see the residue, the oil, and that's why we got oil on the ground. And that's another thing. Now you must understand why sometimes people say, we need to put our checkers in check. So they want to correct this before it leaves. If you're an inspection team and you're feeling and wanting to see outside the box and be better than everybody else, Come and check out if you're fit to become a Blue Ox endorsed team. Go check out on our website and follow the prompt. Let's go check what Lowell has inside. So it's lunchtime and I'm having a great day inside of this RV. Am I finding things? Yes, I am finding things. So let's just start with something behind you over here, honey. So this drawer right over here, as you enter, you can see that it's open. Well, the thing is, it's not closing properly. And uh, so it obviously needs some sort of an adjustment in there. Some of the other things that I'm finding, you know, I've got a small little dent in my refrigerator that is right down here, if you can see that right there. Another thing that I have found, it's like this pocket door. It's not a pocket door, it's a barn door, but it's really hard to pull. It's as if things are not centered in the track properly, so it's just really hard to pull. And then coming into the bedroom. So speaking of those barn doors, when I open this beautiful barn door, let me show you. The fit and finish in a motorhome is something that people are always looking at. And in this particular situation, there are some screws that need to be covered. And either, you know, they have the little nubbies that go over the top of the screws, but it's just on this wall that once this pocket door or sliding door, barn door is closed, you'll never see. But once it's open, then you will see the other side of the bedroom with this barn door shut then you can see down here at the very bottom 
there are some gouges in the wood. Now, is anyone ever going to really see that? No, but our customers may say something. So we always have to point it out to them. You know, and some of the things that I'm pretty particular about would be sealant, especially around your sink area. Anything to do with water. And what I'm finding on both sides of the sink, we've got about three inches that are not sealed. So the sealant goes up and then stops, but we still have more tile back here. And I just think when we're in the sinks, some people put their face down there and they splatter. Where's the water going? It's going everywhere, right? And then coming into the shower. So I have not done my water. You know I'm going to save that till later. But this is just something that I noticed first thing this morning that I'm going to call attention to uh, because that's why Tiffin has asked us to be here today. They want transparency. They want us to show them what kind of quality they're putting out, how they can get better, what they're doing great at, because they do have a beautiful product. Now, somebody came to see me. I'm not gonna tell you who. Stick around to the end of the video because I had a really nice surprise visit today inside this coach. Mr. Bob, we are so excited to have you here today. Tell us, you grew up in Red Bay, Alabama, and where did it all begin? Yes, ma'am, I, I grew up about three blocks from here, and the in downtown Red Bay, which back then was 2,500 people, and my mother and daddy lived in a little house up here, right about one block from the city hall, and I grew up there, and we had a great time growing up. We had, we had the best time playing with the playmates. We had, had two best friends that lived across the street from us, and then we had Felton and Orly Gold that lived next door, and I just grew up like anybody else, and my brother David, he was two years younger, and we all grew we all grew up here right in town. We lived right here in the middle of town until 1952 when Daddy built a new house out in the country, I thought, but it was only a mile away from town. <laughs> so it was not a, it was not long, not far. But, you know, we did move away from our friends then because they all lived right here. And of course, we lived, we lived out that way. And so, but you know, we, we, those friends are still with us today. We've, we've lost a couple of them. They passed away, but we have, a lot of good people here in Red Bay, Alabama, and I grew up in the midst of all of them. And if you like videos like this, make sure to hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. Don't forget to say C4BO, comment for Blue Ox, if you don't know what to say. Now stick around, and we'll see you at the end of the day. All right, end of the day, long recap. We're going to keep it short, but I'll give this to Tiffin. Kudos to Tiffin to embrace this constructive criticism that we bring to the game. I also understand why even Bob Tiffin came in a couple of times today. How are you doing? Walking by, so that was cute. This is a main hallway in some of the buildings also, so a lot of people come through here, but to this unit, this is exactly why some manufacturer needs to have their checkers on check. So paint job, sealant, this unit has been through their PDI. So when this came up here, it already went through their system. Tuck and roll, you remember this? So when you have some of those that they don't untuck on their own, you have to do this. But a lot of times the secret of this, what happened is when they manufacture, they had a hole of 13 inches to put a box of 12 inches. And whoever slapped it there is not being kept on check. So he puts it wherever it fits and that's it, and they figure it tolerates. Well, if it tolerates, that's why you can't have your seal coming up because this slide out is too much on one end and there's not enough room. So the other side has a lot of room. That one untucks like nothing. That's why you got to do your tuck and roll. Not every manufacturer takes the time to be adamant about where it should be. Or the guy who's over there is going through a divorce or whatever. We got to keep people in check. That's why we're here to help them out try to find a direction where you can go back to excellence by checking your people that do check up. Let's go see what it looks like inside with Laurel though. So it's the end of the day and I thought it would be a good idea to start right here in the bathroom. One of the big things that I have found today is that this toilet right here does not flush properly. The good news is that there are no leaks, but when I flush this toilet, it doesn't flush properly. 
So as you can see, I've pushed the button, water's filling in the toilet, and then the water stays right in the bottom of that bowl. But if there were toilet paper in there, it doesn't flush down. So now that you've seen that, what do you think? I mean, it just needs to flush all the way through, right? So while we're here, let's talk about the tall stall. So if you are 77 inches, six foot, five inches and shorter, you're gonna fit in this shower just fine. Now let me just show you a little stain that I'm finding right here. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's definitely something that I am going to talk to them about and uh, see what they need to do for that. As far as, the rest of the coach, I have one electrical outlet, which is right up here, that is not functioning properly. It's just this one right here. Everything else has been great. I've had no leaks this afternoon, not one leak in this coach, which makes me extremely happy. But let's show you some beautiful features in this coach because I walk in here, first of all, I have shiny floors. I look at these floors. I absolutely love it love the mat speaking of floors right so i have these roller marks here on both sides of the couch on the street side slide you can see that we have slide roller marks here right beside the recliners and over here behind the captain's seat as well you can see the slide roller mark but the floors are absolutely beautiful in my opinion. But check this out. I'm looking today and I'm saying, oh wow, I've got a dishwasher. It's not, it is a surprise big drawer with a little drawer on the top here, which I think is fantastic. I would love that in my RV. But also this cabinet underneath the sink, it pulls out. And then you have this little secret compartment you push back. So you have a lot of extra space to put all kinds of stuff in there, which I think is, again, another beautiful feature. And then I was telling Pierre, I don't think there's a pantry in here. There is a pantry in here and it's right here. And all of these pop out really nice, long, deep. A lot of stuff can go in there. You've got your half bath, which, to Pierre and I, we've got to have a bath and a half. That's just the way it is. Two of us living in an RV full time, we want that half bath in there. And then coming in here, you've got this beautiful bedroom. This mattress is glorious. I can tell you that right now. And then you've got this big TV. The whole back end of this RV is a master closet. There's a lot of stuff to be put in there, plus your washer and dryer. Absolutely love this floor plan. It is really gorgeous, but the colors, to me, Pierre and I like the dark and the light wood mixed together. Thankfully, we like the same thing. So to us, this is like, whew, we like it. Quality is never an accident. It is the result of intelligent effort. So remember, and do never forget, it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey.